just made it onto that tray, didn't we? I was lucky it had a big hole in the back. Yeah, and it's lucky you had that car to catch up to it. Yeah. I couldn't have run that quick. I'm gonna miss that car. Oh, a luggage. That's oh, still no, yeah, it's fine. Can you go I'll get it? I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. We could contact someone to pick it up at the we next could. station. I'll, I'll sort that out. But for now, we should do the video. So what is this video? Arithmetic sequences, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So I'll put one up on the board. You can work out what it is, and I'll explain it. Uh, yeah. From there. Okay, so arithmetic sequences is just a set of numbers that will have a rule, which is why the numbers are different in the sequence and what the difference is. So what we're going to do is going to have a sequence of numbers. We're going to write what the rule is, and then I'm going to make a rule, and we're going to write the sequence of numbers. Because they're the two kinds of questions on arithmetic sequences that will come up in your exam. Now this is C grade stuff, but personally I think it's quite tricky to get your head around what's going on. Okay, so I'm just going to say. <coughs> oh, sorry. Bless you. I'm just going to say what the difference is. So, what we call this is 4n plus 1, but why wing? Well, we say that this will define this arithmetic sequences, and the reason is, firstly, look at the difference between every number. In an arithmetic sequence, the difference between every number is the same. In this case, it's, it's adding on 4 every time. And this is the number we put in front of our n. This is 4, and this becomes 4. But how about the plus 1? Well, if you look at this, this is just the 4 times table, but with a plus 1 at the start. We call this the zeroth one, and then there's the first, second, and third. And what you do is you put that into n. So 0 in n would be 0, 1n would be 4, the next would be 8. And as Triv said, that is just the 4 times table. Yep. So how has this been shifted from the 4 times table? Well, every value has been increased by 1, so that's where the 1 comes from. And that's, it's complicated as it gets that way around, but if you're going from the other way, it's a bit different. It is. So, not only can we have plus, we could have minus. Yes. So, I reckon he's going to give us an example with a minus here. I, I might. Well, there you go. Well, there you are. So, Wayne, steps. Yes, this is the other way around to this one. This one, you've got an arithmetic sequence, you're trying to get to that. This one, you start with that, so what you're going to be trying to do is get an arithmetic sequence. So you do what I, what I was just talking about with the zero, then the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, but you put it into this equation. Yeah. So if you make yourself a little table, the first one is when n equals zero. And when n equals zero, you're going to have zero minus two. This is what n equals, this is what the product equals. When n equals 1, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 is 1. And then when n equals 2, this is going to be 6 minus 2, which is 4. And you'll notice this is just going up in 3s, which is what the 3n symbolises. And then you can just continue as that is, but you start as minus 2 and you just go up. So you just keep on plussing 3, that's the difference. And they might say write the first 5 numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Like that? So personally I find that's quite tricky to get your head around. You may find it absolutely as easy as anything in your exam, but yeah. it's C grade stuff and we've done it for you. So um There you are, you're off now. Yep. So what what we do now? We've got to get that oh, luggage, no. I suppose. Um I wonder if Q will get in contact with us. Hello? Oh wait, we've got to go.